I always have a fire kit with me when I'm out hiking or backpacking, uh, snowmobiling, hunting, whatever. Whatever you're, you're doing on, out in the outdoors, if you're, uh, you're out there, you should have a fire kit uh, with you. Um, I think it's an essential piece of equipment to have. And I um, just want to go over some of the things that I carry in it. And uh, hopefully you'll find it useful. And uh, I know uh, people have opinions on what they, they carry in their fire kit. These are just some things that I like to carry and I find them useful. So if you found the vi anything in the video useful or you're able to use anything in the video, if you could just uh, hit the like and subscribe button, it'd help me out. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hi, it's Tom with Cedar Mountain Survival. I like to carry a little fire kit around with me when I'm in the outdoors and uh, <clears throat> just give me a video on uh, what I carry in my fire kit. So I like to have a uh, outer waterproof type bag. Let's get this from Walmart. And maybe a, you know, something water resistant on the inside, stuff sack. And I'll put everything else just in some uh, Ziploc baggies on the inside just to make sure that everything stays dry. So I picked up some, uh, it's a fire starter, it's just a uh, instant fire I guess it's called, something from Walmart, this stuff works pretty good. It's like a sawdust type material that uh, lights really easy. <clears throat> then on the inside, I'll also do a uh, video on the principles of fire starting uh, in the outdoors, how to get a fire started. Um, but that's not what this is about, it's just kind of what I carry in my kit. I usually carry a couple, uh, just uh, some regular uh, lighters. In the kit, one thing about these, if you know, they're nice to have because they, they they'll make a, a flame pretty easily. But you do have to warm these up, <clears throat> and I also carry sometimes a, a butane lighter in a pocket, um, one of those jet, you know, windproof lighters, just to get a quick, easy fire going. If I'm, you know, usually just out for a walk in the woods or whatever, I'll have uh, one of those available. It just makes fire starting so much easier to have something like that. And you know, if you're not if you're in a survival situation, you can utilize something like that, then that's great. But uh, I do uh, use this kit quite a bit when I'm out in the woods, so it's nice to have some easy fire starter material out there. Um, maybe some cotton, uh, pieces of cotton. Um, also, I got this like at Walmart too. It's just like two, three dollars. It's pretty cheap, but a uh, just a uh, magnesium rod or fire stick, whatever you call it, that uh, you're able to. Uh, scrape off and uh, start a fire with. It's a pretty handy little tool to, to have in your kit. Um, <clears throat> you can get quite a few strikes and fires out of this. If you're in a survival type situation, it would be, uh, you know, if you ran out of waterproof matches or everything was wet, um, it's just going to be reliable. So those, uh, this is like a little, just a little tool kit that I get at Brookstone. It just has like a little knife in there, some tweezers, that kind of thing. Uh, one of the main things, a uh, staple item I, I carry in the fire kit is um, usually have this or a, f a film canister full of uh, Vaseline cotton balls. What you do is you just uh, coat the uh, cotton ball in, in Vaseline and you can pull little pieces or strands of that out and um, it just makes a great tinder or fire starting material. Uh, in an emergency situation, this is you know what you want to have. Usually when I'm out walking in the, uh, in the woods. I will start collecting tinder and putting it uh, in pockets or a drop sack as I go along. Like I'll grab birch bark or some Spanish moss or um, you know whatever I can utilize along the way to uh, to start a fire. But uh, this is a surefire way of, uh, of starting a fire when things are wet. And um, I'll also carry just again like another Walmart item um, these waterproof matches in a waterproof match container. Uh, these are incredible. Uh, you can, you know, pretty much light these under fire. They're, they're really, uh, I mean, under water, it's just, they're really, they burn really hot. And if they get wet, they're still going to, still going to light for you. So those are uh, a good thing to have. And they come in a waterproof container. Again, most of the stuff you can get at Walmart or any, you know, army supply store or whatever. Again, just some simple Coleman uh, waterproof matches. Um, these aren't quite as hardy or as uh, industrial strength as uh, as these 
these here that have the uh, the big tip on them, waterproof tip. But some of the things I carry. This is another thing that I uh, I like to carry in my fire kit. Um, I'll make usually you know two or three of these and have some on hand, and I'll just throw one into a a, a kit like this. Uh, it's simply a egg carton coated in wax with uh, either some cotton ball or dryer lint um, stuffed inside. You can uh, completely coat it and dip it in wax uh, like this one here, or you can uh, just kind of drizzle wa wax onto it to uh, give the uh, cotton something to burn on. This will burn for a good long time, and uh, it's a great fire starter. I've used this; uh, it'll burn for for a very long time. It'll keep it'll keep drying out whatever small you know material it is that you wanna you wanna light. Which brings me along to the other thing I like to carry, which is just some some pieces of wood shaving, or whatever. I just shave these off with my K bar, but um, you want to carry you know something that's going to be reliably dry. Um, some small stuff because you always want to build your fires from small to big and uh, you want to use this is a little stuff that you start out with you you know get your tinder and then you, you're gonna want to have some small branches or twigs or some shavings or fat wood or whatever it may be to uh, start to get some of the bigger uh, sticks dried out um, so I usually like to have some some of this stuff that I know is gonna be nice nice and dry when I pull it out for the fire <clears throat> Another thing, obviously, is just a, another um, magnesium stick where you it has its own little scraper where you can scrape the uh, magnesium into the um, into the tinder bundle that you're trying to start, and then you just you know strike the edge down, and get a spark onto that, and it'll light up. Those are you know, very similar to this, just a different different method of uh, of starting. And I'll carry I have a little Altoids uh, canister here, which I made some. Um, Char cloth in. Char, char cloth is great because um, if you don't have, uh, you can actually strike the spark from one of these uh, magnesium or ferrous rods um, into the uh, char cloth and it'll uh, make a coal. That coal will just kind of glow and, and hang there until you're able to uh, cup it into a tinder bundle and blow it into flame. Um, so this char cloth is a uh, pretty good stuff to have on hand too. I mean you could even, if you just had, uh, let's say you had a you know, piece of flint steel, flint and steel like a, you know, a hard uh, piece of metal or steel, you can use a piece of flint or chert, quartz, whatever to you make a spark and if you get any little spark onto this char cloth it'll just uh, continue to glow as an ember and you can get something started. Um, the next thing I carry, I usually have like a candle in there. Um, these are pretty handy for, for fire starting. Um, you can hold, utilize a, a hold a flame a little bit longer, obviously, on the candle than you can a match. So it gives you more opportunity to uh, to extend that flame. But it also, um, in survival school, we utilize a candle such as this. If you're in a cold, wet environment, all you have to hunker down with, and you don't want a lot of flame, you don't want to give your position away, whatever, you can use uh, a candle, and uh, if you simply throw a... Uh, a poncho or a tarp or something over you, um, that candle flame can uh, actually uh, warm you up enough to to where you can, um, you know, stay warm at least for a little while. It will help warm you up. I got a contact lens in there because I, I do wear contacts, and I usually have not just in my fire kit but in my pack some um, moleskin, uh, great stuff. If you have blisters, probably would light on fire too if you needed it too. And um, one of the other things I'll, I'll do is, uh, if you're having trouble getting, you know, some of your small stuff lit, like this, like the uh, fat wood or the you know, twigs or whatever, um, you can throw some of these match heads, just like some of these waterproof match heads and uh, match sticks into uh, a canister. You can uh, incorporate that in your uh, fire starting. Um, anything you can do to maximize your your effort and to make uh, your chances of success better in uh, starting a fire, uh, you should go ahead and do that. I don't always carry the whole thing. Like if I was just to you know go out and I and you want, I just wanted to you know make a fire or try to make a survival fire, I might take some uh, some of these cotton uh, cotton balls and Vaseline and lighter or fire stick or whatever. 
Uh, you don't have to take all of this uh, with you, but um, I, you know, have a lot, a lot of confidence in the ability to start a fire with this kit, and um, you know, all these items um, really just kind of you know, make it nearly impossible not to get a fire going. And I've gone through some of some of the items in this kit before um, on wet wet days where it's been windy and cold. And I wanted to get a fire started because I was cold, and um, you know you may fall back on a lighter or something if you're if you're not uh, able to utilize your, your fire stick, or um, say your matches got wet, or you know for whatever reason you just weren't having success. You can you know grab a different method, and uh, your chances of success are, are pretty good with uh, what I have here in the uh, in the fire kit. So. That's what I like to carry in my fire kit. Um, there's, you know, a thousand other items out there, fat wood, whatever, uh, that you can buy or manufacture to keep in your fire kit. Uh, maybe some of you have some suggestions on what you like to take, take in your kit, or you have other ideas and uh, ways of doing things. That's fine. And uh, if you, uh, I'm a learning person. I, I like to continue to learn uh, as I go. Um, and you may have some good, uh, valuable su suggestions that you like to share. Uh, after the video, so any anything you can uh, tell me or teach me, I'd be uh, happy to learn. If you do find that the uh, video was you know helpful or you were able to learn something from the video, um, appreciate any likes or comments. Uh, you know, subscribe to my channel; it's all helpful. So uh, again, that's why I carry my pocket. Thank you very much. Cedar Mountain Survival Tom speaking. Another item I like to keep in my fire kit here to start fires. Um, saw this somewhere, I'm not sure. I probably watched a video on it, but um, take a uh, egg carton. Just go to your store, you get your regular uh, egg carton here, and uh, what you want to do is cut out the little pockets like this from the egg carton. Just take an exacto knife or utility knife or whatever, and uh, cut out the individual little cells here for the eggs. Um, what you can do is just cut these apart. It doesn't have to be perfect. Basically uh, this stuff just burns pretty well. It contains the uh, wax and the uh, cotton or dryer lint. Actually didn't have much dryer lint in the uh, dryer. But um, you can use dryer lint which is usually just basically cotton anyway but you could use a cotton ball whatever uh, tinder material you want to stick in there, but um, cut out each individual piece here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but... So you just want to cut out uh, your, your carton here and uh, stuff your tinder material into it. Like I'll put a little, since I didn't have a lot of dryer lint, put a little bit, a little bit of cotton uh, in there. And uh, what I like to do is just drip the wax onto it from a candle. You can uh, dip the whole thing, uh, which I probably did with these, but actually I think works a little bit better if you uh, if you use a candle to just kind of drip the wax on there. Um, you know, this is almost completely waterproof, but um, what this does, if you, you have some, you know, strands of cotton or uh, lint in there that... Uh, fire can catch on to it just makes it a little bit uh, easier to light so uh, I don't like to coat the entire thing in, in wax but uh, uh, you do want to coat it in wax so just take a candle you can just take a candle and, and drip it in into the uh, cotton it takes a little while to do it this way but Want to keep coating the material here in wax. Once you've done this, it, this uh, little fire starter material here is will burn a hole through a snowbank. It's just burns for a lo nice long time. Gives you plenty of opportunity to dry whatever material you have out. <clears throat> to start a fire and uh, you can stick this in a snowbank and it'll burn its way right through the snow. It's just uh, it Burns that well, so 
I won't show this whole process, but you're just going to drip the uh, candle wax into the item and uh, just kind of thoroughly cover it in, in wax. You can do it that way. If you want to speed the process up, you can obviously uh, just put the flame right on the wax. It drips a lot quicker that way. This is how I like to do it because it uh, tends to make it a little easier to light. If you have some cotton or lint in there that uh, you can put a flame on, it just lights up really fast. I'll demonstrate on you know how this works, and we'll actually go just go outside and light this up, and I'll show you how well it burns. But uh, I like to carry these along with the uh, Vaseline cotton balls. Um, as a tinder starter or s a small piece of twig or, or wood like if you want to light a feather stick or whatever you can usually pile some twigs or whatever up over this and get a fire going pretty quickly I've used this um, I mentioned one of my other videos that I've done that I do carry this when I go uh, snowmobiling um, this fire kit and uh, there's been numerous times where uh, my wife's hands have gotten cold and she had to uh, warm up her hands and feet and I've used this to uh, start the fire it's just a really quick way of doing it and when your hands and feet are cold in the middle of the winter here in the Northeast you definitely want to get them warm in a hurry so this is just a great way to to start a fire and so you kind of get the idea. I've covered most of the cotton and lint or whatever in the uh, carton. And then I'll go around the outside and just kind of do the same. You can see how it, the wax is just kind of dripping onto the carton here. Now you, like I said before, you can coat the whole carton if you want to. It's just a little bit more of a process if you. Uh, If you do it that way, it's just a a little bit more, I feel like it's a little bit more dangerous because um, I've actually seen where somebody has messed that process up and the uh, wax, for whatever reason, just kind of caught fire or exploded and the person that uh, that happened to got some uh, pretty bad burns. So this is also a little bit safer way, way of doing this rather than melting the wax in a pot. There's a process that you can do. I've watched a video on that for uh, to make it a little bit safer by um, if you put uh, some water in a big pot and then put your your candles in a uh, in a pot floating in that in that water. That's a safer way of doing it so that uh, the wax doesn't catch on fire. It can be it can be kind of hazardous or, da or dangerous. So what we're gonna do right after this video is go right out and light this I'll show you how it lights up how well it burns but uh, I like to carry uh, at least one of these in my fire kit um, just a really easy way to get a, a fire started and it burns really hot for a, quite a long time the wax keeps it burning uh, for a while so that you get a, a nice fire going but uh, basically that's what it looks like when you're when you're done with it and uh, let's go outside and I'll light that up also show you how the uh, the cotton ball how easily that lights up and uh, those are things I like to carry for uh, starting material or emergency tinder in my fire kit uh, for it <clears throat> I really need it I know that it's gonna burn nice and hot for a while and give me a good opportunity to get a fire started all right this should uh, capture the egg carton that I uh, coated in wax so um, just want to demonstrate how easily this lights up and how how well it burns and get my lighter to go here Oops. so yeah it lights a little bit easier on the edge of the carton there and uh, I'll probably speed this up for purposes because it's gonna burn for a good long time 
there in the snow, but uh, it'll burn nice and hot for a long time, and I like really like to uh, carry that in my kit. One nice thing about the uh, fact that it's coated in wax, it will you can set it on a wet surface or a snowbank or wh whatever. Um, things don't have to be the driest, which is what I really like about it. As you can see, it burns hot, so it's going to dry out whatever twig or feather stick that you you might be lighting, whatever material it is, even uh, some of the bigger sticks or branches from a pine tree will burn uh, with this and dry out. Okay, here's a video on uh, my what goes in my fire kit. I like to uh, carry some items in a, a fire kit along with me. Um, the fire kit obviously is one of the things you're going to want if you are if you have to spend the night in the outdoors uh, overnight just about anywhere. So some of the things I like to keep uh, in my fire kit, um, I'm going to show you how to make some uh, Vaseline cotton ball uh, tinder material. Um, usually uh, I've, I've kept this in a film canister but uh, I went to Rite Aid the other day and I didn't want to buy a $12 roll of film, so um, I didn't have any film kits laying around, so um, I just bought some of these stackable pill reminder canisters. I think they'll work out all right. Um, you want them to be kind of at least water resistant. I don't, I'm not sure how waterproof they're going to be, but I always have a uh, waterproof bag and a couple uh, layers of waterproofing in my fire kit. I carry this um, with me when I go backpacking or hiking, um, my snowmobile, uh, anytime that I'm out, you know, in, in the woods, I like to have this with me to start a quick fire. Um, it's, it's an essential piece of uh, equipment to have when you're, when you're in a situation like that. So, um, these pill canisters just came, they're fairly cheap at Rite Aid for the, uh, Basically, are like these stackable pill system that you can you can have so that you keep track of your your pills. But I found these over in the pharmacy section. I'm thinking that I'll be able to use these. Okay, probably use the uh, clear one here for the uh, to hold the fire fire tinder. So, so you want to take your cotton ball. bag will probably last forever. Um, probably had some that my uh, my wife had, but I bought these at Rite Aid the other day and some petroleum jelly, Vaseline. Um, so what you want to do is just kind of coat the uh, part of the cotton ball in Vaseline. Um, just take a piece of the cotton ball, add a little Vaseline to it, like I'm doing now. This also acts as a uh, water retardant. Vaseline will keep the uh, cotton kind of dry and uh, lights very well. So I'll demonstrate that in the video. But so just kind of saturate your cotton ball and Vaseline. Just kind of keep pulling it apart and adding a little uh, petroleum to the cotton ball. When you uh, use this for fire starting, what you're going to want to do is pull the cotton ball apart. You don't want to use the, the whole thing. Just pull a piece of it off like that and pull pull the pieces or strands apart like this. Give it give the uh, flame some surface area to catch on. And uh, basically, once you've got the cotton ball all saturated in, in uh, Vaseline, you just put it in your canister and uh, it should serve as a, a way to, I can't get it open now that I get my hands all slippery. 
Should serve as a way to keep your your stuff uh, dry from the elements. So you just want to stick that in there. Screw it down tight. And uh, put that in your fire kit. It's a handy item to have in your fire kit. I used it in survival school. I've used it um, when I've been out backpacking. It's just a really uh, good way to, to start a fire. So uh, that's a Vaseline cotton ball. I use that as tinder. I usually collect tinder when I'm out on my hikes or whatever as I go. And I, I'll put it in a stuff sack or a drop sack to uh, have some tinder material so that I don't use this up. But um, I like to keep this for an emergency situation. If I have to get a fire and really quickly and dry some stuff out, you know, when you're small twigs or sticks or fire feather feather sticks whatever are kind of damp or wet um, you got to want to have some tinder that can burn fairly hot and easily to uh, dry out that material um, you always want to start with a small small flame you know add your your uh, tinder material here with some really small sticks twigs or uh, you know shavings from a from a dry piece of wood and uh, you can usually get a pretty good fire started that way. And I like to keep that in my uh, fire kit. And uh, every year or so I'll use, use this up so that uh, it's nice and fresh for, uh, for the next time I want to go use it. But this should last a really you know, long time and really uh, it's pretty effective as a fire starting material. So we'll demonstrate that later on in the video. Just wanted to show you that uh, item that I keep in my fire kit. Just works as a good little fire starter if you uh, you need some tinder material out and you need something to light you want to pull that cotton ball kind of apart give it something to uh, give the fire something to catch on to um, this isn't really a demonstration of how to build a fire but just want to demonstrate how the cotton ball works as a tinder material or emergency tinder just you take a bunch of twigs and you can just kind of add them to the fire as you go. It's going to start to dry things out. The uh, Vaseline, this burns a little bit quicker than the uh, egg carton that I showed you, but it burns long enough and hot enough for you to dry out some uh, twigs and get a fire started. As you can see, it's... Uh, Get a fire going and you just keep adding bigger stuff obviously to get the fire going and this is really just a demonstration on, on how to achieve that with the cotton ball but i'll do a fire starter